SWIM was specifically developed for applications which use high volumes of real-time streaming data. SWIM is useful in a lot of different contexts. Because the SWIM stack itself is only 10 megabytes in size, um, that enables you to deploy SWIM into edge environments, uh, deploy SWIM onto IoT gateways, or you can even run it in the cloud. SWIM's actually agnostic to where it's running, it, the, where SWIM, the software itself, is running. We look at edge very differently at SWIM. Um, edge is where data is being generated, whether that's a physical place or whether that's somewhere on the web. Um, really, we look at edge as a type of computing that can be done where data is being generated before storing it anywhere. Um, and so that certainly helps you in real world environments, what is traditionally thought of as the edge, but that could also help you if your application doesn't have any real world component at all. The important part is that if you're generating streaming data, it's necessary to be able to process that data sooner and to be able to act on it where it's relevant without having to wait for a response from a database. From an application developer perspective, SWIM is a runtime that's optimized to be able to process and use real-time streaming data. SWIM is open source licensed under Apache 2, and so the first step developers can take in order to be able to get SWIM and use it are go to developer.swim.ai and download SWIM right away. You can download the SWIM library, you can start testing it on your local machine, and you can also refer to a number of examples that we have for applications that we've already built. SWIM is an application development platform for using streaming data to build real-time experiences. SWIM developers um, can take however high volumes of real-time streaming data from any number of sources that they have and build unified experiences on top of those data streams to be able to do real-time analytics, to be able to do real-time learning, or to automate processes.